National Lottery's weekend draw for Saturday, 21st of August. We're coming to you live tonight from the very heart of Dublin. Annie, where's me ticket? In your trousers. Here's Alan Fergus, our independent observer. Oh Lord, help us. Alan is from Stokescroft Financial Services and we're honoured to have him here with us tonight. Annie, bring me me apple tart, will you? Get it yourself. The lotto starting. Number 19. Annie, come here. Bring me me apple tarts. We got the first one. Number 40. Yes, jeepers, Annie. Can you believe it? I got the second. The third number. Number four. Oh, will you look at that, girl? The fourth number. Number seven. Can you believe it, Annie? Come here. We got the first four. You are having me on. Shh, shh, shh. Number 25. Annie, we've got it. Jesus, Jackie, that's five. Oh, Lord, help us. God, help us. And the sixth number. Number 29. Yes, 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 yes. Have we won? No, but it got me apple tart brought to me now, didn't it? God bless you. Michael O'Sullivan, are you a millionaire? Now, Jackie, would I be sitting here at this old lake if I was a millionaire? I believe you would. Hold on there now, I've some mighty news. Are you getting in for a dip? More important things to do. Look and see what I found in the small print of the Irish Times last night. Look at it, down at the bottom, front page, winking at you, lottery results, winner from County Moore West. A local winner? Now oh, that's the thing. It's more than local. County Moore West is big, but there's only one village in it. Tully Moore? Tully Moore. Is it a fact, Jackie? A winner in the village? In Tully Moore itself, yes. And how many are living there now? There's 52 precisely. If you've not won, I've not won, and Annie's not won, that leaves a total of 49. Jeez. 49? And one's a winner. Has the news reached Tully Moore yet? Nobody's figured it out yet, so nobody knows but the winner. God, it's mighty, Jackie. Does Annie know? She does. She's looking for the winner now. Morning, Annie. Oh, God. That Mary Lydon is a fine one for the champagne. Oh, I thought it would be you boys that would be having the heads this morning and not me. We do have heads, and they are sore, but at the same time filled with the very best of Irish brains. Will those chickens find us the winner? They will. Jackie talked Mary Lydon into giving us a list of the local lotto players. There's 18, and each of those will be invited to a chicken supper. We'll sit them down, feed them up, and then find the winner. It's not my Christmas card already, is it, Michael? Christmas is coming early this year, Kitty. Oh, how exciting. Come in, Michael. Come in. I've been thinking. It's tempting, Kitty. I've plenty more cards to deliver. Is it a little love note? <gasps> Michael, did you enjoy your supper? I did indeed, Kitty. It was very generous of Jackie to splash out, was it not? Oh, he's a generous man, Kitty. Mm. That's as may be, but himself and Annie don't normally invite half the village to chicken suppers. Look at never look a gift horse in the mouth. Oh, never refuse an invitation. That's my motto. Especially when someone else is buying the beer. Mm. <laughs> you know, whiskey. I'm fonder of a little drink. Hey. Hey. Oh. 
Did you see Pete Finn in his brother's racing car this week, Brindy? <laughs> I did. I thought it was stolen. Now, Jackie, but how do you make me splash out the new sports car yourself? Uh, if I had the money, I wouldn't be wasting it on a car when me bike's outside. How about yourself? What? Will you be splashing out in the sports car? Are you a madman? Tom, would you be looking for a bigger house now that you've had your baby? So we could never afford that. So, Kissel, how did you like your breast? My breast, honey, was tasty. So tell me, are you going to go on any holiday this year? Where would I get the money for a holiday? Sorry, girls. Oh, Dennis, help yourself. Here we go. I see you have a little bit put away. No, but I started saving. Jackie, am I right in thinking you've booked a Caribbean trip? If I had the money, I wouldn't be spending it floating around the Caribbean when I can float around the cove for free. God sake, Jackie. Would you mind telling us what you would spend your money on? If you had any, that is. Well, I'd take what I need, Pat, and I'd treat me friends with the rest. Okay. Is there any more whiskey? Why did Jackie and Annie suddenly become so generous? Are you sure there's something you're not telling us, Michael? What are you talking about? What if it's Jackie that's won the lotto? Think about a man. Why else is he asking us all what we do if we won the lotto? Oh, jeepers. The chickens and the whiskey were wasted. What are you staring at? I'm not staring at Anton. Come on, out with us. I know who it is. I've worked it out. Go on. It's you. Me? I think it's you and you're having us all on. Michael, go home. I'll leave you alone to count your winnings. Hold on a minute. What if it's you? You never said it wasn't. <coughs> <laughs> Go home. You're drunk, stupid Aegis. Jackie, I have a chicken leg left over. I'm full, Annie. Put it in the fridge for dinner tomorrow. I counted those joints precisely. If there is one left over, it means someone was missing. Someone smelt a rat. Where's me list? Ned Devine. Ned Devine was missing. God, Annie, did you not notice? Make up a dinner, sweetheart. I'm going over. Ned! I brought you chicken supper. Ned! Ned! Are you in there, Ned? Ned! Dear God. You'll be cursing in heaven tonight, Ned Devine. Come in, Michael. Take a look. He's smiling, Jackie. That'll be the win and smile. With a little look, we'll have one too. There. I think I'm lost. Would you happen to know where Tully Moore is? You're not far off, mister. Back up the lane, left at the end, and it's a long road that has no turning. Are you from round here yourself? I am, all my life. Would you happen to know a Ned Devine? I do, I do. Is it Ned you're looking for? It is, yes. Well, I can take you to Ned Devine's house. That'd be very good of you. Why don't you jump in the car?
Can I come in, Mr. Devine? It's rather personal. I'm Jim Kelly. You call my office in Dublin this morning. Oh, I see, yeah. Uh, come on in. I think it's best if we're left alone now. Thank you. Right, you are. All the best then. All the best. Okay, Ned. Do you have any family living nearby, Ned? I'm all on my own now. This was my father's place originally. He ran a boat from here. It's a shame you have no family. You'll have to be careful of your friends after the win. Do you understand what I'm saying? You'll have to watch your friends. Will you have a whiskey, Mr Kelly? I won't thank you, but you help yourself. Well, Ned, the reason why I'm here is that sometimes when people learn just how much they have won, they get a shock. I expect now you'll want to know just how much you have won. And would you be in a position to tell me that, Jim? Here's the ticket. A big win, is it? Well, Ned, you've won six million eight hundred and ninety-four thousand six hundred and twenty pounds. How do you feel? Take your time now. It's a great shock to the system. Just give yourself a moment to get used to the idea. Well, what do you think, Ned? <laughs> right, Ned. It shouldn't be long before I can issue with the check. Don't take too long now, Jim. I'd be losing interest in that money. Right. I best get back to Dublin. There's a lot of paperwork to be sorted out. You did write your name on the back of the ticket. I did indeed, Jim. Very sensible of you. Means no one else can claim it. The only thing is it'll take a bit longer. I'll have to come back and make some inquiries to make sure that you are indeed Ned Devine. Oh well, congratulations, Ned. Take care now. I'm not a great man for telling things the way they are. I've been known to add a little colour to the stories for the benefit of those that listen. Yet here tonight, I can swear that all I've told you is true. The money will be claimed and divided equally between the 52 of us. So now if the lotter man comes to the village, you say that Ned Devine is alive and well, and you point your finger to Michael O'Sullivan. How much has been won? And so we come to the claim itself. The total amount of the jackpot the total amount to be claimed and divided equally between the 52 of us is six million eight hundred and ninety four thousand six hundred and twenty pounds. Hello there Ned, are you well? Not bad Jim, not bad. Jackie here knows about our bit of business. Good, I'm glad you have a friend you can confide in. And will you be making your inquiries today? Oh no, Ned. The village says that you are Ned Devine, so that's good enough for me. In fact, I can issue you with the cheque here today. That's great, Jim. Take care, Ned. Call me if you need anything. Thanks, Jim. Take a drink and remember the man. Then raise your spirits to the sky. Raise them to Ned Divine. God bless you, Ned, and may we be forever in your debt. To Ned Divine!